We've mapped Mars. We've walked on the moon. But Earth's greatest mystery still lies beneath our feet. Right now, as you watch this, around 80% of our ocean remains unexplored. That's hundreds of millions of square kilometers, completely unknown. And the deepest parts, they're darker, more alien, and more extreme than outer space. So, what's really at the bottom of the ocean? At around 200 meters, sunlight disappears. At 1,000 meters, it's pitch black. And by the time you reach the Mariana Trench, 11,000 meters deep, the pressure is like stacking 50 jumbo jets on your body. That's over eight tons per square inch. And yet, life finds a way. The deep sea is home to Earth's most alien life forms. Let's explore them. Forget sharks. Down here, it's all about survival with style. Dragonfish with glowing fangs and transparent teeth that don't reflect light. Snailfish, which are soft, gelatinous, and built to survive in pressure that would crush a submarine. Yeti crabs, which grow fuzzy bacteria-covered claws to farm their own food. The crabs don't just passively carry the bacteria. They actively manage their growth. They wave their claws to create water currents that deliver nutrients to the bacteria and remove waste products, optimizing the bacterial growth. And instead of eyes, some creatures have evolved to sense vibrations or even detect electrical fields. This isn't just a different ecosystem. It's a different rulebook. One of the most mind-blowing discoveries. Entire ecosystems powered not by the sun, but by chemicals from the Earth's crust. Hydrothermal vents spew superheated, mineral-rich fluid, and what lives there is nothing short extraordinary. Riftier tube worms have no mouth, no stomach, just symbiotic bacteria that turn toxic gases into food. Scaly-foot gastropods are snails with iron armor and magnetic shells. Hoff crabs, yes, named after David Hasselhoff because they're hairy. Some creatures are so strange they barely feel real, for instance. Dumbo octopus gliding like a balloon at 7,000 meters. Sea pigs, squishy pink blobs crawling across the seafloor. Giant siphonophores, longer than blue whales, but technically a colony, not a single animal. These aren't monsters. They're time travelers living fossils from a forgotten world. So how much of the ocean floor have we actually seen? Not much. In 1960, Trieste reached the bottom of the Mariana Trench. In 2012, James Cameron made the journey solo. And in 2019, Victor Vescovo found plastic waste at the deepest known point. That's right. Even here, pollution has arrived. Even today, we've mapped less than 30% of the ocean floor in high resolution. We know more about Mars than our own seabed. So what might still be hiding down there? Entire species we've never discovered. Underwater lakes made of brine, volcanoes, trenches, even new branches of life. And yes, even in these untouched depths, we've already found microplastics. We haven't just explored the deep. We have polluted it. We've barely scratched the surface. And what lies beneath might change everything we know about life on Earth. If this dive blew your mind, like, subscribe, and tell us, would you explore the deep sea or leave it alone? Because here at All Things Explored, the deeper we go, the stranger it gets.